over the coming years. Cornet Little, it's been a pleasure to celebrate my semi jubilee year with you. Have a great day on Friday, and hopefully we'll be up here together again in 25 years' time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all have a good coming right now. Cyril Johnston was elected Cornet in 1968 following his very good friend Colin Barnfather, Cornet the previous year. At the time he was elected, he lived next door to Colin on Carline Street. These two men have shared many trips through common ridings, countless trips to Cheltenham, and other horse racing events, and have been the very best of friends throughout. The Derby winner in 1968 was Sir Ivor, and the colours were chocolate and blue. In those days, there were only three ride outs, to the Benty, Craig Clough, and Castle Craigs. When Sir was elected Cornet, he was at the time Vice President of the Castle Craigs Club. His work for the club over the years merited the award of life membership, something of which I am sure he is very proud of. <coughs> Ever since Sir was Cornet, he has been a credit to the common riding. He has now been a member of the organising committee for 50 years, never missing an opportunity to help out with the running of anything common riding related. This sort of dedication is what make, makes events like Lang and Common Riding take place. Despite making this massive commitment every year, the pleasure Cyril takes from being involved is quite clear. Cyril, I congratulate you on obtaining your jubilee. This unique picture has been created for you by Margaret Faulty and is a great token to mark your jubilee year. I'm delighted to present this gift to you and I hope that you, Muriel, Shelley and the rest of the family have an amazing day on Friday. Chairman, Gather Company. Firstly, I would like to thank Michaela for presenting me with this lovely print of Langham Alphabet on, be on behalf of the, the Comrade members. Thank you very much. Muriel, Shelley and I have been overwhelmed, in fact humbled, by all the good wish cards and gifts given to us. It is very, very much appreciated. Thank you to everyone. Fifty years ago, what a roller coaster. <laughs> Since I was elected cornet of this great tune, I was very lucky young lad to have by my side as right and left hand men, Colin and Ronnie. And I have cherished their help and friendship ever since. Thank you both very much. I was also blessed 50 years ago to have with my pol polka partner, my future wife Muriel. <laughs> Michaela just said in the backstage, you know, what a lucky lassie Muriel is. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly said she is a very lucky lassie, <laughs> but I thought I'd better know. <laughs> I think not, no. A couple of little funny things. Now, Muriel and I were, were engaged to be married back in 68, but such was my desire to be Longham Cornet, any plans were put in the back burner. <laughs> We'd actually bought a fridge freezer for when we got a hoose. <laughs> and known to Muriel, I traded it in for a share in a local racehorse called <laughs> You're right, she wasn't the best, please. <laughs> now, Muriel was a bit, a bit better at, at my, as me in the, at the polka. She used to say in my lug, one, two, three, hope. And that made it easy. As the years gone on, little things change a bit. Then the polka, 
on Ian's election night, as usual, one, two, three. I said, eh? <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Bloody Hope <laughs> bumped into a bad night and got her out. <laughs> Billy, Andrew, and Ian, it's a privilege to celebrate our jubilees together. I wish you both a great day and we'll, be, we'll savor the memories. <coughs> Cornet Little, I hope when you receive the town standard on Friday morning, you will carry it aloft with pride and dignity. I wish you and your right and left a great day. Enjoy. Thank you. once again to have a Diamond Jubilee Cornet on stage. William Bell fulfilled a lifelong dream in 1958 when he was elected to be Langham Cornet. Billy has always been a very keen common riding supporter and has been involved in many different aspects of the big day. He followed the Cornet on horseback for many years and when he was semi-Jubilee Cornet in 1983, he carried the flag from the Castle Craigs to White Well using the horse he'd hired for the day instead of using the Cornet's horse. As far as music is concerned, Billy is very talented. He has played the fiddle at Common Riding Concert many times. He was a member of the pipe band and he could always be relied on to accompany singers on the piano at various functions. Billy was also a musical advisor on the Common Riding CD. A diamond anniversary is a huge achievement and something I'm sure Billy will feel very proud to have reached. Not only does it mark your time since being Cornet, but it also means you have experienced a lifetime full of common riding. You have no doubt seen our common riding go from strength to strength, with our traditions carried out as strong as ever. Billy, you have chosen to have an engraved band fitted on a nibby created by the late David McVitie. I am delighted to present this gift to you on behalf of the members of the common riding, and hope that you and the rest of your family have a fantastic common riding. I can mind when I could keep all this in me heat. <laughs> I don't know, I'll get the right bit of paper. <laughs> That's the wrong yen, I'll stick on the desk here. Here we are, I think. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank the committee for bonding this nibby made by the late ex Gordon David McVitie. I think it's a fitting memorial to his skill coupled with a memorial to those cornets who never saw their Sally Jubilee, never mind their Sally Vitting State. Have a good common rain, everybody. Thank you very much. concludes this year's investiture and presentation ceremony. At this stage, I would like to thank Michaela for the gracious and dignified manner in which she carried out this very difficult job. Well done, Michaela. There will now be a short interval during which the bar will be open, followed by the second half of the concert. Thank you.